What exactly is the Bharat government uh, doing to safeguard our energy security and lower prices? Given all well, this, lower prices, you know, it, lower prices is prices were rising before the Ukraine crisis, but they've become higher. So what we've done is reduce taxes. We've tried to make it as um, as convenient as possible, as economic as possible for the consumer. But there, it's a global phenomenon. And then to reduce dependent on fossil fuels, we are going in for new and renewable energy sources. I mean, the three largest solar farms in the world are in India. It's a matter of another five years, you'll see the transformation. I'm waiting for my electric car to arrive. My other, I have another car which is uh, which runs on diesel. And I was, I just called, even though it's not yet 10 years in the nation's capital, I called the fellow, I said, will you come and take it away and smash it to pieces and then give, he said, no, but you still have two years to go. I said, I don't care, I want to use my electric car as soon as it arrives. And you know, all of us have to do it. It's a, it has to become a people's movement. And once we, the people of India, we adopted, enacted and gave to ourselves our constitution. Once we decide, we, the people of India, that this is our future. No power on earth can stop us. As Victor Hugo said, no power on earth can stop an idea whose time has come. India's time has come. These are words, again, that everybody <laughs> should hear. Thank you. I mean them with total sincerity. Ooh.